Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Get early access to all of our interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with writer and comic book legend DG Chichester, new episodes of classic Capes and Lunatics shows, including The Quantum Zone, This That or the Third, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capes and lunatics. Hope to see you there. What's up, guys? It's Acacia Ray, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. Let's go. everyone welcome back to another episode of capes and lunatics it's me phil lilith is here and we have a special guest sukesha yeah. ray uh artist Hi, musician uh who knows what else she's up to <laughs> guess we'll find out <laughs> that's right so yes i was doing my homework on you because i do see that you are uh appearing soon at uh, steel city con uh here uh next weekend i am local so I, i'm not too far from the con Ooh. Okay, will you be there? I might. I don't know. Some of those crowds have been getting bigger and bigger, so. Yes. You're, you're going to yes. be bombarded because yeah, they, they've they they been getting big, pulling bigger and bigger crowds. Honestly, I am so excited, you guys. First of all, hi, I'm Sukesha. Um, I am really, really excited. This is my first guest appearance ever out of my 13 years of doing this, so. Oh, wow. I'm really excited and I'm really nervous and the response to me being announced was quite interesting. So <laughs> I know um, you could even meet the whole cast. I see that they're doing like a 90210 reunion there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so honored too, because you know, you work really, really, really hard and I think sometimes I might work too hard, but uh, I'm just, I'm really excited and grateful because it's been a long journey and it's it's really cool to be recognized by like big shows like that. So I have like a couple guest appearances. Um, a lot of people have been like uh, reached out, like, "Hey, be a guest here, be a guest there." I'm like, "Oh, that's really cool." So yeah. So yes, uh, you are a hentai artist. Um, Lilf is a big hentai fan. So really, it's an art form. Yes, I know, I know. Yeah, it is. It is. I like her already. Honestly. <laughs> I like her already. She already gets points with me. So yes, I w- I was doing my homework, looking up like previous interviews and stuff. So you so you started when you were ten years old with the with the art. Yeah, like literally, I I I don't know. I just I did this thing deviant art. You guys remember old site? Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. I just it, started it's posting. Still alive, but AI has kind of started to try to kill it, unfortunately. But you, you I'm know a what? Tumblr deviant art girly, so I totally get where you're coming from. But you know what also killed it, Lilith? You know what? I'm really angry at them right now because I had a subscription with them for many years and I still do. But what they were trying to do to me was they were flagging like my non-inappropriate things as inappropriate. And like, so I was using it as my portfolio and these oh. major cons couldn't see any of my things because they were flagging with my cute Pokemon art as like NSFW. I'm like, this is nonsense. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm like, I pay for your services every month to get like the nice badges and all the nice perks of the site. And I'm like, y'all gotta, you got, y'all gotta stop. Like, get someone to manually look. And like, mm-hmm. I was really upset. So now I think I'm I just like, I'm from a few artists. And it's such a shame. It was such a great space when it first came out. And really, yeah. for the artists and the fans, like, you could literally find mm-hmm. anything that you were looking for for fan art. And I'm sorry that happened to you. And I'm it's sorry okay. that to the site, actually. That, that, that was the heyday of the internet. It's, yeah it's past us now unfortunately <laughs> and you know what it did like bring about my career because like i know a lot of my pieces went viral on there so that was my first intuition because you know um phil had said that oh you, you started 10 years ago 
that's when I started to see, okay, people actually like my stuff. Oh, can I swear on here? Yeah, I yes, okay. absolutely. Okay, okay. I was like, oh shit, people actually like my shit. That's fucking crazy. And I started to see like uh, my Raven blew up, like some other ones just got like 10,000 plus views, lots of favorites. And I was like, okay, well, if, if people really like my stuff at, at 18, I was like, maybe I could try doing a Comic Con and maybe people will like it, you know? I, so it was kind of cool. And then I was already doing like commissions. Like I started with requests because all artists do that. We're like, Oh, we're not good enough to make, you know, when you're younger, you just kind of do requests and art trades. And then people are like, started at 10 years old. They were like, oh, do you do hentai? And I was, so my father's a surgeon, my mom's a nurse. So I see bodies all the time. I just, oh. I'm used to it, right? Because I have a medical family. So I never thought of anything. I just like, oh, it's a body. So I actually started doing hentai when I was very young. Like, and I remember my first hentai piece it was this girl tied up and with like whip marks. I was really young when I did it too. And the client was like, you have to add more whip marks. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. It's, I still have it to this day. It's the funniest thing ever, honestly. I That's mean, such a funny yeah. story. Yeah. It's I, really funny. I was chat- I was looking at some of your posts. I mean, just the, some of the uh, requests yeah. you get, you know, just like yeah. you know, sex with animals and... <laughs> They're funny and they ask in person. That's the craziest thing. They ask me at a con when I'm with my father, my surgeon Indian father. Oh, yes, yes. They ask literally right there with my mom and my dad. Ruthless. Wow. Yep. I was going to ask you, how do your parents feel about that? My my parents are super proud of me. Like, I literally do this and I have been doing this for years now to a point where, like, it's taken me to Dubai, like, all over the world. And I'm so grateful. And it's blowing up right now, which is crazy. But... I'm I'm grateful that my parents support me. Now my dad, he hates the hentai. He <laughs> hates it. It makes him so uncomfortable. Like you can tell so I re- I retired my dad from doing comic cons just because <laughs> I know it does. You know what I mean? Like we'll fight at cons. Like my dad will be like, Ikea, stop it. And I'll be like, Dad, stop it. I have to draw this hentai. And I'll be drawing it on the spot. <laughs> it's really funny. And I'll be drawing it on the spot. And my my dad will be like, hey, there's a kid. I'm like, dad, I know there's a kid. Take a walk. <laughs> We're always fighting. And then he sits here really grumpily and he'll be like, he'll just, he'll sit there and stare at people like grumpy. He'll be like, my dad, stop it. He <laughs> can't do that. It's my career. <laughs> yeah. He's just this cute, grumpy little Indian man, but I love him with all my heart. So he is very proud of me. They both are, but my dad just... He's like, you have to do the naughty stuff. And I'm like, Dad, I really like to do it, too. Like, you know, he's really, really funny. So so are, a oh. lot, so are the majority of the commissions for the naughty stuff? Or do you, do you get a lot of... Uh, no. I think the majority is like 50-50, I'd say. Oh, okay. It's fun because, yeah, someone would think, like, if you offer that kind of stuff, like, you get a lot of it. Which I do, but I would say 50-50. Because now that I'm DC, um, I have, like, a DC cover under my name. I'm getting a lot of, like, DC characters, covers, oh. and... I have to keep it a little bit tame too. Like that stuff I'll post on the Patreon, but because of that, I have to keep a little bit of a professional, like on the main page. Oh, I can talk about it, but I, I will never post it, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, we yeah. love the, like the background stuff and like, we, you know, we're big yeah. DC and Marvel fans. So it's like, so how do you uh-huh. get the variant cover for, you know, what was that? What was it? Batman and Robin number three, mm-hmm. uh, which we are reading. So uh, how do you get that? Do they approach you about that? Or do, do they have a thing uh-huh. where you send a submission in or? That's a great question. Actually, I love telling this story because it's the craziest story. And I remember it happened when I was like at a very low point in my life, too. I, I was getting out of COVID and I had long COVID. It was Megacon. Oh. And I actually auditioned at Megacon two years ago, right? Two years ago, it took for me to get that cover, which is crazy. Oh. And I, my friend Mustafa Musa, he's a very, very popular um, Inkist on, uh, he does Marvel and DC, but he's one of my very good friends. And he's like, you know what, Sukesha, I know you're an anime artist and I know a lot of the comic people puts down anime, but they're having open, you know, open calls for um, DC at Megacon. So he's like, I'm going to get you the rooms, the audition. I want you to submit your work because I believe in you and I know you can do it. And I was like, most, but they're not going to take me because I'm an anime artist. Why would they take me? And he's like, you never know. Just go in there. Okay. So I picked my 10 best pieces. Obviously, they were all SFW. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I remember, you know, I remember with like four other people, I can't imagine how many submissions they got at a show like Megacon, which is like 200,000 plus people, right? The Florida Megacon? Yes. 
Oh yeah, that's a great con. Yeah great show right so i can't imagine there were four other artists with a callback and included i was one of them wow. and i was like i was like are you joking i was like i was like oh my god so i went in i i went to my the next day was the callback on saturday so i went in and i met ben, ben abernathy the executive editor at the time i think he stepped down now but i was so nervous and i was about to faint because that long covid and just the long hours of con, uh, yeah. I was sweaty and I was like not conscious. Like I almost passed out on the spot, Ooh. but I, I slowly like s- I kept it together. But I remember asking Ben, this is so funny. I was so not with it that I was like, do you, do you guys do like hentai at DC? I was such an idiot. Who asked that to the executive editor of DC? <laughs> You're like, are, you you should have said, are you interested in a black label book featuring hentai? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I know. <laughs> And Ben was like, no, Sukesha, we don't do porn here at DC, but thanks for asking. And I was like, either either he thinks I'm cute and funny or he's going to send me out the door for that comment. But he actually really liked it. And he's like, your unique anime style is one of the reasons we want to hire you. So congrats. And he's like, welcome to the team. So, yeah. Oh, that's it was awesome. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I really enjoy the new. I, I like that they're taking more and more risk lately. Um, just yeah. to, to reach out to different demographics and things, because like the traditional art style is traditional. It's just that, but like, yeah, manga is huge. Anime is huge. Why not try to modernize and and pivot and get the younger people into it? So like at this point, whatever it takes. I'm really, mm-hmm. I was really sad to see the Wonder Print imprint go away, but that would have been a great place for oh yeah more anime artists and things like to bring into the fold. Mm-hmm. And I remember I did audition for Marvel and I did get a call back for Marvel too, which is pretty awesome as well. But I remember the Marvel, I can't remember the rep of the Marvel guy, but he had told me to come back because he, first of all, at the time I didn't have even any Marvel characters. I just, and I, I rudely kind of auditioned with a DC character. So maybe that's another thing I probably oh. shouldn't have done. Yeah. I auditioned with Raven. Um, so I didn't even have any Marvel. So one, he wanted more Marvel characters. And he was like, come back when you have Marvel. And two, we want to see more of your just like, just line work, you know? Mm. So, cause they're big into that in Marvel. So, um, I was like, okay, so I'm probably going to apply like again, like this year with updated work. So we'll see about that. But yeah, I was all happy to see you then when they announced you for Steel City Con, because it seems mm-hmm. like, I don't know, they, they're always like focusing on like the TV and the movie people and stuff. Mm-hmm. And just, I'm like, I'm like, we, we need more comic creators. We need more artists. We need more writers there. You because know? that's where it started. And I, yeah. like, I'm glad that it's like more of a cultural global thing. Wow. But like at the same time, I miss that intimacy of original comic cons where you go to Artist Alley and you right. get to see your favorite artist or your favorite writer. Cause that, right. that's what built the community. And yes, if we stray too far from it, it just kind of loses its meaning for me. I agree. I totally agree with you guys. And it's literally, I mean, I remember talking to a lot of people because I did San Diego last year. It was my first year doing San Diego too. So it seems like opportunities have been like up here, there, up there. So it's cool. But I remember talking to people and they were like, the original San Diego was only comics. Oh, yeah. Only comics. And you know, the first cultural thing that they actually did was Star Trek. And then Mm. that's where it kind of grew from there. Like, yeah, you could frequently see a lot of like the original Star Trek cast. Wow, I did not know. And that's know what that. kind of opened everybody's eyes. So like, hmm, maybe we can. Wow. But it took like literally decades for it to like wow. really catch on, and for TVs and movies oh. to actually like want to go there and be its own thing. So. Dang, I didn't know that. That's so cool. Wow. Oh yeah, she she grew up in San Diego, so. Yeah, oh. I, I literally got to watch it kind of like grow before my eyes. <laughs> How old are you? Oh uh, well, I'm not supposed to ask a lady her <laughs> age. <laughs> I'm in my thirties. <laughs> and you're in your thirties. Awesome. I just turned thirty, so cool. Welcome to the club. <laughs> yeah, girl. The, the grays are coming. Trust me. <laughs> That's awesome. No, don't, don't 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 stress over thirty. You get, once you hit forty, I just then. Yeah, Phil's an expert in that area. Oh shut up. Oh. <laughs> his That's mom awesome. said I'm his little sister, so I get to bug him like a little sister. So. Yo, you have to. Oh, honestly. good. I get to torture you next time you're up here. Okay. <laughs> I mm-hmm. mean, you do that anyway. So. <laughs> oh, I, I mean physically, not mentally. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> no, that's me drawing the whips on the girls. Oh, you know I mean? that's me. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you want to talk about this. So yeah, I'm scrolling through your social media. <laughs> I, the craziest story I think I heard you tell was the mm-hmm. uh, one with the celebrity. You know, don't know what I'm talking about. Where you wanted you oh to come to his God, house. I'm like, I'm like, is this for real? <laughs> yes, it's for real. So I was okay in my younger days. I would love to talk about the story because this is so 
funny. Okay. I was such a hustler back in the day. Like I would do anything to make sure that people knew about my art. Like I was crazy. I used to graffiti walls in Miami because I'm like, people will know my name, whether they want to or whether they not want to, nice. you know? And I remember my art page was like growing and my music page was growing pretty fast. Um, my music page was originally an art page. Like I was Sukesha, the artist. It's a long story, but basically the celebrity reached out to me and I, I can't disclose the name of celeb because I promise him. Um, oh yeah. Well, and- once you hear this story, you'll know why she's not releasing the name. <laughs> yeah. 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 Lilith doesn't know. <laughs> um, but so basically, and I signed something, so I can't talk about it, but, yeah. um, he he texted me he's like hey do you want to paint and i was like what do you mean i he said i'll give you a thousand dollars and would you like to do body art on me and i was like okay what are we talking about <laughs> i was such a hustler i'm like how much money to pay me <laughs> and then um he was like a thousand but i had the catches that i had to paint his penis and i was like okay i was taking it like so seriously though i was taking it so seriously i'm like okay then what should we paint the penis into? And then we were going back and forth and he was actually really cool. So we were, we were talking back and forth and I actually met with him that I drove down to Miami and then I made him lay down and I turned his penis into the Loch Ness monster. Jeez. Nice. <laughs> so standing so straight. This is the biggest one I've ever seen in my life. Wow. It was a monster. <laughs> it was truly a monster. So I was like, keep your penis still. And I was yelling at him. because it was, it was just, I was like, keep it still. And then he, he was weird. I think he wasn't weird or anything, though, with me. He was, just, he was just letting me paint. And then I was like, okay, it's finished. And it looked like a masterpiece. And then obviously he was the only one that took pics. Because if I had him, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. If I, yeah, he doesn't want some random to, random person to have him. But um, so anyway, I was like, where's my cash? Because I was such a hustler <laughs> Sometimes you have to be like that, though, especially in Miami. Yeah, yeah, I'm not like that anymore. I would never do anything that crazy. But um, I remember he gave me the 1000 bucks, and he was, like, really, really kind, though. And he's like, remember. And he was, afterward, he made a comment. And he's like, you know, you could always have this if you wanted it. So I think it was, like, his way of flirting with me. And I was like, sir, I was thinking in my head, sir, that would rip me open and destroy me. But I'm good. That's very <laughs> kind. <laughs> like, I'm a small person. I'm like... That is an anaconda, and that's not going inside of me. Thank you. <laughs> Stop it. So that was my funny story with that celebrity, and I will never forget it to this day. And it's people cry. <laughs> I, I, you know, I remember how like he sometimes occasionally asked me to paint on him, but I'm like, dude, I'm good for now. I, I got a lot of shit. So. I, 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 I would be conflicted. I'd be like, yeah, I don't want this weird story out about me, but I want this girl to say, oh yeah, it was huge. It was. I know. It's like, well, if it's huge. <laughs> well, nowadays, so, hell, they probably leak their own pics nowadays. <laughs> no, literally, we're out here like Drake, just flopping it where everyone can see it. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my God. So it's just it's one of the funniest things that everyone I tell that to just cracks up. So that was good. And it, you know, the cool part is that he just never like tried anything like slimy. He just made that comment, and I was like, okay. It was a pretty like very chill exchange of body painting, and then I left, and I was like. Nice to meet you. Bye. <laughs> Got you like the penis painting. <laughs> how, how, so, how long did that take? <laughs> honestly, I'm pretty fast, like at art itself. So I'm honestly only like an hour. Like I can probably do a huge mural in like a day or so. So maybe a day wow. or a half. So yeah. like, so like, if they offered you like your own comic book or something, like a monthly comic, would mm-hmm. you, so would you you be down for that? Especially for, since you have the speed and everything. Mm-hmm. Probably that would be. Re- I'm actually trying to work right now. Just everything's just so busy with the music. I'm trying to work on my own hentai, which is pretty cool. And well, we yes, know, well, gonna... yeah. Well, we know a bunch of people do it through like I was Kickstarter. Say, go fund me. Yeah, uh, Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Like, what are we doing? Of, yeah, supposedly, yeah. The the mm-hmm. uh, comic community on Kickstarter is like really supportive and stuff. Yes. And, yeah. Well, I'm actually in like I'm not sure about this, but like I'm kind of working on like actually publishing, publishing with like oh, a, like creator owned with like actual publisher and stuff with an actual publisher. Yeah, I just can't talk about it yet because yeah, like, that's totally fine. Yeah, yeah, but that, that's exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's so worth it, especially nowadays with like the state mm-hmm. of like the big two and the monopoly yeah. that they have. It's really nice that mm-hmm. creators can go out on their own and they're not dependent on that big two anymore. Yeah, and everyone Especially wants with, like, it. different art forms like hentai, where it's, like, they're kind of, like, still kind of hesitant. It's still the old guard. I think it's going to take oh. one more generation before the fuddy-duddies are out of there. I think so, too. I agree with you, Lilith. That's that's true. Mm-hmm. 
So uh, how do you balance your art and your music though? Like that that those are like two very time intensive things. Literally alcohol. I'm not even gonna lie. Literally alcohol. <laughs> oh, I, that now she's your best friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I it's so hard. Like it's actually so hard. And anyone that tells you like I used to be a Twitch streamer like pretty heavily and I had a big following on there, but I really realized like to do good at all three of those things just was not going to happen, honestly. So are we you talking can- like the three hour streamer or like the eight full, full eight hour day streamer? Eight hours. Oh, wow. That's yeah. that's draining mentally, emotionally, physically. You don't want to go. Yeah. Uh-uh. I have a couple of friends that are streamers that do that. Semi-successful uh-huh. <laughs> at it. And uh, yeah, they're, they're always like, no, nah, we can't go out. I'm tired. <laughs> No, I, I yeah, it. How, it is so hard, you guys. And it, I, when you're a singer, your voice just kind of, you can't do it, you know? So I was like, damn, like, I, my voice is tired. I can't record. And my team is out in Belgium. So I'm always flying to Belgium and back, Belgium and back. Um, yeah, long story so- short, I got picked up by, like, a team out there. We were originally with Warner Music, which is exciting. But we left them just because of some contract deal stuff that was not the thing that we needed um so now i'm with sony so this new single i dropped with sony it's been like about a week and a half that it's been out and it has like eighty thousand plays already it's really cool so cool. and yeah it's been picked up by the yes. radio i think major radios in belgium as well already so that's pretty cool so watch out taylor swift i'm, I'm kidding, <laughs> kidding. <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking she's cool did you pick out did you pick out your nfl player yet <laughs> oh no <laughs> Oh no! Oh. They're slimy though. Football players. Oh, they almost. Oh, cheap, they're though. all football players. But you know what you do if you do want a sports guy, get yourself a hockey guy. They are super loyal. There you go. There you go. Because I think football. I don't know players. if you're into hockey, but hockey is my favorite sport. Ooh, how about you, Phil? What do you like? Um, he's not a sports ball guy. Yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, it's so weird. I'm not, but my my 11 year old son is the big sports fan. Yeah. There's always one in every family. Though, oh so. yeah. Yeah. Let's cool. skip the generation. His dad's. I did. I know. That, I know. Well, my son and my dad will sit there and talk sports Dang. all day. I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Wow. No. That's actually really funny. Okay, okay I'll, I'll remember hockey. Okay. So hockey players are great. Because just okay. saying. Can- <laughs> Canadians, right, Lil? I mean, that, it, 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 hockey players it, are pretty well. pretty loyal, and you never really hear much about them. So you know, you, they don't get enough rep. It's always basketball and it's always football. Honestly. Sometimes baseball, but not baseball. True. Baseball hasn't been America's pastime for a while, unfortunately. Yeah, but you do hear about like Astros going to the World Series a lot, yeah. and like you hear about that stuff. So yeah, so yeah, the music. She doesn't is, have I mean, time for a relationship, though, Phil. Yeah, oh, that's actually true. No, she's <laughs> right. I don't. That's why this year I literally just got out of like a six month. I had a really really big three year that I got out of recently, and I tried something for six months. With a guy 10 years younger with me, and I don't know why I did it. I did my cougar face, so. Oh, now you're really talking her language. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, I literally only date guys 21 to 25 right now because, A, I don't want to yeah. get married. I don't want kids. So it's like, I don't want to waste anybody's time. She likes I actually have fun. really love her. She like, her. She likes some pretty and stupid. I mean. It, Honestly. Stupid. I, just, you know, young, dumb, full of cum. That, that, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I actually love her, though. I know. I know. I, <laughs> That's alcohol, so alcohol, young man. You're talking her language. Yeah, I mean, yeah. not not this year. Yeah. I'm actually on a oh, full yeah. like oh. sub- sabbatical from everything because I'm training for a marathon. So yeah, no alcohol, that's... no sex, no nothing. Awesome. Yeah. Sometimes but, you just but need, 2025. Like, I feel bad for everybody in 2025. Yes, girl. Oh some uh, some young man's dying. <laughs> She's coming on the streets. She's coming. <laughs> oh yeah, because didn't I, well, didn't I see? Didn't you? Isn't that what your song's about? Uh, the relationship. Uh, yes, mm. yes, it's about somebody. I, it, so it's about okay. It's actually a compilation of people who have like mm. broke me. Um, it is a lot about my three year relationship. That one really messed me up because I feel like I'm just I'm I'm literally asexual right now because of this person. And like, there's an also it's also about a music producer that hurt me and like raped me years ago and he was from like i don't want to say that it was from a major label but i don't want to say the label just because listening ears you know what i mean but he was also from a major label and he was the first person i worked with and this person like literally like messed me up so it's sort of like a i won't go back to you in a sense of like all these people that really hurt me you know um but there are some lines and nuances where you can tell oh that was about that guy you know what i mean so um, I just I My I always. It's cathartic. I'm glad you're able to get. I was gonna say, is it kind of therapeutic? Because even if you're not <sighs> naming names, you're kind of putting it out there. Where it's mm-hmm. like, this is what happened, and 
oh yeah all of his friends like all of that person's friends like because they know me so well they're like yo sush because people call me sushi sush um they're like was that about him and i was like that line was about him. <laughs> and you can tell you know it's about him so but it's it's funny because i'll never actually say the name of the person right because that's that's not yeah. right in any circumstance but what he did was really messed up to me and i i didn't deserve it and i'm you know how like there's both sides of the party anyone could see from the outside and say like what in the hell like that's crazy because i i have such a big heart and i did so much for this person and you know when you, you give so much and you give so much for like a long time and then just the person does like a, a 180 a 180 and you're like who is this person anymore who is that that's crazy to me you know uh so i still sometimes cry about it to this day and you know i think it does make the best music though you know so yeah well good for you go keep going with the music because i know some people that Thank might you. just make yeah, them like stop a, yeah so did that kind of did that mm -hmm. make you like kind of want to be more like involved with like producing like your own stuff like because i know that you like mm -hmm. play the piano and you mm -hmm. sing and you, so you, you know i remember so did that influence you to make it like like be more heavily involved on the producing side um yeah actually well yes like that's actually a really good question like i just i remember the whole reason i got in involved with music because i was always an artist i was also always a drawing artist right and that dark person in miami that pulled me in this is so crazy because it was through my art that i became a musician and this is these are the craziest stories you guys will ever hear now this person it's also the song's also about but i remember being in a club and i was really drunk and this really weird character with a very dark aura came and approached me. You ever do you ever get a very dark aura from somebody? But you're but you're sort of like it's like curiosity killed the cat because you've never experienced anything like it, so you want to investigate it. Like don't, don't forget the end of that. But satisfaction brought it back. The sa oh <laughs> satisfaction. Brought no, that's the full that's the full thing, and I, oh. I, I like to just put it out there because you know curiosity can be a bad thing, but it can be a good thing too, and you. Wow. You need your learning lessons when you're young. We've all mm -hmm. kind of been there. So, yeah, I totally get what you're saying. Oh, I like that. I'm going to use that now. Thanks. <laughs> like that a lot. Um, I remember that this guy pulled me in and he was like, you, there's something weird about you. And I was like, huh? And he's like, you, all right, so what, what do you do? And I was like, I'm an artist. I, I am a graffiti artist. I draw, I paint. He's like, can you sing? And I was like, oh, yeah, I can sing. I've always been able to sing. I've, I've always done like musicals. And he's like, sing something. And I sang something. He's like, wow uh you should come with me i think he, we can really make you into like a superstar like i think and i was like what like i was i was like dumbfounded i'm like are you serious like he's like no like you have like like i think you can be one of us and i was like one of us what are you talking about and he was one of like the biggest producers he was actually friends with diddy he's oh. good friends with diddy so that would explain the darkness but i remember every single night i was with the most powerful people in the entire world like i was with one night rick ross another night wow. the chain smokers at their birthday party another night i was with recording with bryson tiller like chris brown like all these people like in a room um birdman like he was friends with little wayne so he's like it got abusive though it got it started to get like really abusive like the relationship and i was starting to like not only mentally but like just in other ways too you know um but I, I, you know, when something happens and it changes your life, I'll never meet. I feel like that kind of person, it was such a rare encounter, but he's like, you are a superstar. I know that, you know, I don't want to sound like anything like Grant, but that's what he told me. And I was like, I, but I'm just an artist. <laughs> I was like, but I'm just a little artist. So, you know, but he's like, but I really believe in you in the beginning of our relationship, you know, when it wasn't dark and scary, but he's like, I really believe in you. Like, I think you can do it. And I was like, whoa. So then after I cut base or I cut ties with that person because he started threatening me and some bad shit went down. He really threatened me and threatened my family. Um, the, my producer from Belgium jumped on a plane and flew out on his own dollar to work with me. I've oh, never wow. heard of that in, in my life. I've never heard of that. So I'm like, okay, maybe there's something with music here that the universe is pushing me to do because I, I've i never seen something like that. Usually producers are pretty slimy. They're like, okay, yeah, you're going to have to- charge you for everything. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, Brunel, he, he's just like, okay, I believe in you. You're like, you're very talented. He jumped on his own plane and we recorded here at my house. And he's like, Oh, what? That... You, got a, you got a recording studio at your house? So um, nice. Actually, it's funny enough. I didn't. He brought oh. his own stuff. I was like, wow. I was like, are you serious? That must have been expensive too. What the hell? So I think just, you know, guys, when the universe pushes you to do things and you're yeah. meant to do something, 
you just kind of got to follow your heart, but you can't do it in like a negative, a negative. Yeah. Energy. We always talk about manifesting stuff here. So mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, just kind of like listening to the you know a lot of people ignore the universe. Even like they have like one step back, like well that wasn't for me, but that was your test. It is. Like, it push is. Push past that. Yeah, I think so too, Lilith. I I definitely agree with you guys. So um, I'm on this journey, and I'm just following like good energy and good vibes, and I'm just grateful for everyone who's like supported it along the way, and see where it goes. I guess. <laughs> It's so. just, you're just such a unique soul, like, like just music and art and just like, you still have this yeah. really great bubbly energy about you. Like. <laughs> yeah. I try because I've been through a lot and I, that's why I just, I never really get angry about things like things. I'm just like a very, you're right. I'm like a very soft soul and it shows in my work too. My work is very soft, you know, as well. So, um, I just, life happens. And if like, I used to get, I was very short tempered back in the day and I've such mellowed out, like with. The people I've worked with, you know, it's just you go through things. And um, I feel like this is my old fart self talking, you know, at this point. But um, I'm always grateful. I'm very grateful for where everything has taken me. And I, I feel like doing art full time and music full time is like it's not an easy task. And for that reason, I, I told myself, so I got circling back to this fact in 2024. I was like, I will not date anybody. I don't care if he's a billionaire. I don't care if he's like really hot and has a perfect size penis not a big one but a perfect <laughs> size penis there's a lid for every pot as my grandma likes to say exactly it has to be perfect for me but i'm saying even if it is the perfect penis i'm not dating i don't care no like i went on a couple dates like i um i recently went on a date with a multimillionaire. that was a fun one no and that he's very very attractive older guy but i even told him i was like listen like I, this is not my year to do that you know i Maybe in the future, but I told myself the temptation is real, but I'm not going to do this. You know, sometimes nope. you got to take time for you and see where it goes. Absolutely. Proud of you. That's, yeah. yeah. A, lot, a lot of women don't like they, they're, they're afraid of like hitting that wall and, mm-hmm. you know, being past best by date. No, don't listen yeah. to that. <laughs> do you guys want to know like my biggest fear in relationships? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's if like the guy like 20 years later tells me that they're gay. <laughs> <laughs> After we, after we have kids and everything, like I've heard stories of men being like, by the way, 20 years later, after you have kids and like everything, right? I'm gay. <laughs> I would think Stop. there would be signs. Well, yeah, we're kind of past that hopefully now with society. Like yeah. people right. are a little more free to be themselves. That's back in the day when uh, people yeah. weren't True. free to come yeah. out. Yeah. Mm-mm. So I'm just like, that's my funny, funny, weird fear of it. But honestly, like, I think just right now, it's just like not the time. I'm like healing and I really am so happy. Lilith can probably, but I pointed at Phil. <laughs> Lilith <laughs> Lilith can probably feel me, you know, just like with the whole, like, do you be strong and just like love who you are. Like, you don't always have to, you know, exactly. just clutch onto someone else. So, so yeah, I'm doing, so I'm doing it. Be- Mm-hmm. So do you have a next single picked out? Like, are you allowed to talk about like your game plan now that this one single is blown up? I know that like when things go viral, they like usually have like a, a, a prep plan for when it goes viral and what's next. Are you allowed to talk about that? Or? Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, This year was going to be music year for me. So I'm putting a lot of my shows on a hold and like I a lot of them I have skipped out on because I have to fly there. I'm planning guys on doing just like a whole music year, just like mm. drop, 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 just a lot of content because COVID put us back like three years, you know, like everybody. Yeah. yeah. So it was really annoying. Like I, I was supposed to be way further. So this year is the year we're just going to mass drop, drop, drop. So expect more. So this one just came out. I'm really excited. I have to fly back, I believe, like in um, a couple weeks. So we're going to make some more stuff. So, <laughs> yep. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Doing I'll- music videos. Oh, you already, you already have a music video, Are we doing video, a music? Right? No, like like any more wow. music videos planned that you can talk about, or do you oh. plan incorporating your um? If, forgive me if I pronounce it wrong, like Bengali mm-hmm. dancing or anything like that into it. Or? Oh, that's cool. Oh, girl, I wish I could fucking dance. Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh ew. <laughs> I might practice though. The thing is, I've never practiced. You guys feel me? Like if I dedicated myself, I could probably do it. But like, I can't dance with my life. Dancing, no. Cooking, no. Like, like, we all have no. our gifts. We all have our gifts. I know. And it's funny because my label. If you were like, a triple threat, I would have been really upset, low key. So it's okay. I, <laughs> no, girl. No, no. I think I can talk, though. I'm like a really good, like, I think a comedian, I could be like a really good one. But like, I literally, no way. Because I just, there's just not enough time in the day to be good at three things. That's what I realized, like, as I do 
as I'm even struggling just to do art and music and like people are like still yelling at me I get a like I get a text a day from like a loved one being like you don't care about me anymore I'm like what is this <laughs> calm down like people just like they they're always like judgmental man I had a breakdown yesterday because someone who was like very close to me was like oh oh you're you're so famous now you don't care I'm like I here I am. I'm just like doing art. You know, I don't think of myself like that at all. And granted, like, I know I have like a lot of followers on some platforms. Yeah. And I'm like, that's crazy that people think that I'm just like, an art. I just think of myself as a creator, you know, I mean, it's cool when your stuff goes viral and people like your stuff. But I don't think of myself like that. You know what I mean? And Weird. And, and again, you'd be busy if you're just doing one of those things. But music art, I mean, you're doing both. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's it is really overwhelming sometimes. So that's why I'm laughing when Lilith Lilith was laughing because of the alcohol. But it's true. Like I do drink a lot just because it is very hard to balance. Just wine though, just wine. So um, but it helps calm me down from like some stress that I have. But um, yeah, I'm 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 just trying to do what I can do. And like most people are very kind. Like most people understand. Like okay, she's got a lot on her plate. But there's always that rotten apple that's just like, oh, you're a shitty person. You're a shitty person because you don't answer your phone. And I'm like, eh, I just didn't need that right now. That's something that phone? happened. First of all, why are you calling anybody in the year of our Lord 2024? <laughs> yeah, literally. Uh, I was like, I can't wrap my head around these people sometimes. Like, what? This could have been a text. Text messages this... are the best thing. Yeah, the this, best this, this, this could have been world. a text. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, actually, and then another client, a client of mine, like, this is a fucking client that has ordered art from me. He's like, I've noticed when I come by at Comic-Cons, you just don't want to talk to me. And I'm like, no shit, because this is my job. I'm making sales. I don't have time to talk to you for four hours. Oh, my God. I chewed that one out. I was really upset. <laughs> so mad. <sighs> I was salty. But, uh, <clears throat> all right, I'm going to throw this out here, and I'm sure Lilith is going to agree with me. Yes, as you're dropping music, let, me, let us know. You can come back. We'll talk music. Or if you even yes. just want to say, hey, can you promote this on the social media? We'll do that. Uh, oh, guys, thank you. That's very kind. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's been really great talking to you and getting to know you. Like, we wish you mm -hmm. nothing but the best. We look forward to more music, but more importantly, more art. <laughs> So yeah. When you get back to art, or and you can talk about that that uh, art thing that you're working on. Let us know. We'd be more than happy oh, to yeah. review it and have you back. Oh, that's awesome! Because I know I do have um a White Widow dropping really soon. That's my next cover. That's oh dropping. really? Yes, White Widow right. number eight is coming next. So, um, so excited for that. Um, there's some other things that are bubbling under that I just I can't. It's it's things I just can't talk about just yet. You know what I mean? Um, but I am really really excited. I'm gonna really try to like dedicate myself on my own comic and. Maybe even like another like I've been see, uh, seeing about maybe even another like larger cover like maybe even DC we'll see. Um, it's letting this one marinate though. It just dropped in November, so let us know if you need we, we you need us to petition. Like you know what would be great another cover by. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Cool. Dang. Now you guys are a vibe. Is Lilith also from Pittsburgh or no? No, I I live in Florida right now. Well, I split my time oh. between Florida and DC. So. Oh okay. Where in Florida? I'm West Palm Tampa. Beach. Tampa. So. Oh, Tampa. Will you be at Tampa Bay or Metro? Ooh. Uh, no, probably not. I don't do a lot. The only, like, Florida cons I do is Megacon, really, to be honest. Oh, okay. But I'll have to see you guys for next year. The booth prices are insane now. Yeah, My... they are. But, like, it's been getting bigger and bigger and bigger every year, so they I justify know. it. Yeah, but the, exactly. the, the owners of the con are really cool. They, 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 they love having just all kinds of people, and that's what mm -hmm. I love the most about Megacon. Oh, yeah. I love the guy who runs it, too. Rich and I are really close. He's such a great bean. I just, I, I love him. They they treat the artists really well at Megacon, though. I'm, I'm grateful yeah. to be here. I know the wait list is super long, so being able to do that show in San Diego, New York, just it's really, really awesome. You know, you, you learn something from people all the time. So, I think. That's so, incredible. I might have stopped by Steel City Con for a clean commission, so. Uh. <laughs> Yay! No, no, you get a hang tight commission, Phil. Have I taught you yeah. nothing? I want superheroes. What do you want? I don't ask for dirty yes. superheroes. Come on. No, Phil, that would be so cool. I'm just no, okay. no. Everybody knows Superman's a power bottom. Come on. Oh. <laughs> yes, Lilith, speak, girl. Are you and your? Fan? I told you, I, I'm a, I'm a deviant art fan from way back. You and your fan I can fiction. Tell. <laughs> and she has so. I can literally. T That's amazing. That's amazing. I just. It's kind of crazy. Like when my thing was announced, there were a lot of negative comments. So I. I'm bringing someone just in case, you know, 
because just I, there were a lot of negative comments on the Steel City, like just as my post, because what they did was they didn't post any of my art. It looks like I'm just like some IG model or something because they just posted Oh, like, yeah, maybe just a cosplayer or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, I should have put like my, my Batman and Robin cover or some of my other work, but they just posted pictures of me. So I don't think a lot of people understand that I actually am like an artist, you know, like and yeah. one that's been doing it for a while. So I was like, I'm going to bring someone in case someone wants to throw hands. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to throw hands. Yeah, I mean, I mean, no offense to them, but I feel like they kind of drop the ball sometimes on like the artist alley side of things. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I guess we'll see how it goes. Very first um thing, and hope to see you, Phil, if you can make it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Yay! All right. So and uh, all right. Before we leave, well, a few things. But first, promote anything. Promote whichever you want. Social media, the music. Mm -hmm. Your uh, is there a website for your art? It, can people ask for commissions? You have a website for that? Oh. Yeah, actually, that's a great idea. Um, okay, yeah, guys. So if you want to check out my stuff, you guys can actually just Google Sukesha Ray. Um, did we lose Lilith? Maybe, we well, her dog might have stepped on her power cord. She'll, she'll probably be back. <laughs> that's actually amazing. I'm sure she'll be. Um, yeah, if you guys actually want to follow me, Sukesha Ray, uh, S-U-K-E-S-H-A-R-A-Y. Um, I know my website is there. You guys can find like my Instagram. My link tree is also Sukesha Ray link tree. Just put it in Google. You guys will be able to find everything. Usually there's a contact button on that link tree where you can just submit. My single fire is out. If you guys want to listen, basically put my name in. Song fire. It's really exciting. It's it's garnishing a lot of plays. Love for you guys to listen to it. That'd be amazing. Um, and then otherwise, I think pretty good. I'll draw you anything. Oh, nice. not not the child porn stuff. That's bad. Though. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Let's keep it. Yes, legal. Yes. Right. But I'll do pretty much anything. So, yeah, you guys want customs? I got you guys. And um, more stuff to come, I guess. There she is. Found Lilith. <laughs> yeah, so. my puppy unplugged the piece. I told you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He said it. He called it. She warned yeah. me before we started. She's like, if I drop out, it's wow. the dog. Well, one of her dogs. That's amazing. <laughs> you guys have been such a pleasure, honestly. So I think that's, honestly, it's the best place. You can just Google me and most of my links just come up anyway if you put in Sukesha Ray art there's only one of me and no one's gonna try to impersonate me because the name is so unique you know mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah you can't you can't go any wrong so oh my gosh no it's it's little things like that yesterday I was filming this is a big reason why I was like half dead and I apologize oh again. no I understand I mean again okay. with your schedule and everything yeah I, like I was filming with like this very big big YouTuber and I, I'll be in I'll have to link those videos too you guys will find those soon but um, he always says how important small things are like that, that make just the difference. Mm. Those little nuances where you are like, Hey, this is welcome to this podcast. Seriously. It's all important. So we, I get it. Oh yeah. We're always looking for important people to, to say, mention our podcast. Mm -hmm. So definitely, uh, such a pleasure. You guys, honestly, such, such good energy. Yeah. So like I said, I mean, I, I'm sure Lilith agrees with me a hundred percent. Yeah. Anytime, if you want to come back and promote the music or any of the arts or, yeah. If you just want to come back and bullshit with us about stuff. Comments, yeah. Yeah. yeah I guess. Yes. T TV shows what are you guys or anything. Socials? I'll, have to, I'll have to catch you guys on your socials. We'll oh, yeah. Soon. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah. We're all over the place. So. And it's you guys. Both of you guys do the Capes and Lunatics. Yeah. Together. Actually, we do like okay. a, several shows here. I mean, we have some other hosts, but yeah. Wilf and I. Basically. Hose? What? Hosts. Hosts. Yeah, Hosts. No. I'm kidding. Me and my hoes do that's all these that, shows. That's that Pittsburgh accent striking again. Yeah. I'm literally kidding. I They'll say kidding. Gotham. Shut up, I just wanted to play a little. <laughs> I love it. I'll have to show you guys a follow on social media for sure. So. Oh, yeah. I'll make sure we're following you. So I'm sure you'll see a bunch of uh, requests Yay! pop up. But yes, thank you again for uh, sharing your time with us because, again, uh, you are a very busy woman. So. Thank, thank you for... No, I'm honored that you guys weren't pissed at me, and I'm, I'm really grateful. Thank you, guys, and I'm so, so honored to be on your podcast, and it was a blast. You guys are great energy, so... Oh, we love... The, you're great. That's why I said yeah, let's come <laughs> back whenever. Uh, sure. Thank Sounds you. good, guys. My next major thing, I'll have to come back for you. <laughs> yes, please. Again, you have my contact info, so yeah, just reach out. Uh... Cool. Thank you, guys. Is it a wrap? Yes, thank you. It's a wrap. All right, guys, until next time, okay? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Hi, guys. Lilith, nice to meet you as well. She's awesome. I love her. Nice to meet you, too. Have a great night. Get some rest. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, yes. I, yes, I think that was great. I, yeah, she needs to come back. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah.
if she wasn't busy with 50 million projects, I would have been like, hey, you, you do a monthly podcast if you want. <laughs> God, Phil, it is a monthly podcast. Everyone will be working for me in the future. <laughs> you don't have to fear Elon see Musk. See what you else. did, Rob? Do you see your deranged protege now? My deranged protege. That's the thing. That's, a, that's my goal. I want to eventually have more people working for me than Rob had at, the, at his height. Uh, Why did your eye drift over to my box? All right. So should we get out of here? Let's do it. All wrap, right. Wrap so, it up. And if you're, if so, uh, any creators or uh, send us feedback uh, on Sakesha, she was great. Uh, but yeah, especially if you're a creator, any kind of creator, email us uh, for an interview, capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38CAPES. And hey, you can uh, find all of our episodes, our social media that we were just talking about. Merchandise, we just rebranded. So yes, we have all new, brand new merchandise with new logos. Now with Ampersand. Ampersand, yes. And of course, we also have a Patreon, of course. So if you thought this conversation was awesome, uh, yes, we go completely wild, uncensored on Patreon. So uh, catch us there. Or we just have a Cash App link if you're a... uh, why can't we meet millionaires that just rain money on us? Huh. Better take your top off, Phil. I don't know. Somebody else, somebody's got to do it. It ain't going to be me. I, I know. We lost We lost our uh, sex appeal. Yeah. All right, back. <laughs> you caused an earthquake in New Jersey with that puppet. I know. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. All right. So, yeah. So, you, but you can find everything Capes and Lunatics at tubespace.io slash Capes and Lunatics Podcast Network. That's tubespace.io slash Capes and Lunatics Podcast Network. And you can find uh, Grandma Loth Home Fire on the Facebooks, correct? Friend me, my phone, my, my my quarantine phone is back. I can't take friend requests and puppy pics incoming. Yes, yeah, see see the dog who uh, t- took her out of the podcast for a minute or two there. <laughs> All right, uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you, uh, Sakesha. Uh, all right and again kids stay tuned we got at least at least two more interviews coming this month so i want to be famous we're going to be infamous exactly well that's more salty and petty thing oh that's true the infamous capes and lunatic that's what we should have been all right so for another hold up for another week we have been your capes out for Woo! I think we found your long lost sister, Lil. She thought you were a little chap. I know, it was like kindred skin. Like she mentioned alcohol. She's like, I was with a younger like, man. I was like, alcohol, and I'm like, preach it, sister. I found another, found another Lilith. All right. So yes, thank you, Sakesha Ray, and. Everyone reach out. We're time to interview you. Good night.